friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and I'm sorry I'm not looking my best. I just came in from weeding the cabbages. We don't weed the cabbages as often as we weed the other plants because the cabbages are covered and it's a pain to take the tent off. But about once a week or every once every two weeks. But there's some little holes in them. So I've taken the, the tents off and I have weeded them and now we're going to make some spray. And it's real simple. But I'm going to use two of my dried cayenne peppers and we're just going to put these in the blender. Oops. Be careful folks, this stuff is hot once you get it going. And the water is slightly pink, that's good, that's a good sign. Now I've taken an old spray bottle and then we're going to put a coffee filter because we this will clog your sprayer okay so we put a coffee filter in the funnel and we're just going to pour it in there you can use um, a half a jalapeno pepper now folks don't use this on anything with blossoms Unless you can direct the spray to the foliage and not the blossoms, you don't want to discourage the bees from pollinating your plants. Now we're going to put in about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of just common everyday dish soap. I like lemon scented for the simple reason it's kind of like citronella. We're just going to put our nozzle on there. Now it's really important folks that you label this because when you you don't want people spraying this on their countertops or on their windows or now that we got our dish soap in there we just give it a toss I don't recommend putting your dish soap in the blender with your cayenne pepper or you might have an overflow of suds so Papa's gonna come out in the garden with me and film me showing you how that we do this oh, as you look at the little peppers yeah, I know. Isn't that cute? Look at that. Um, as you can see, even though we have the tent, they are getting some chew. So we're just going to we have make sure we have this on spray, not stream. And we're just going to the soap will help it stick. That's why I usually put molasses on, but the soap will also help it stick. When they say insecticidal soap, folks, that guy doesn't look too good. It really is just soap. And remember, cabbages love solid soil, so stamp them down around them. I've weeded these. I know it doesn't look like it, but they were really high. But you like to stop they like the soil stomped down firm around them. See, come in here. See this? Make sure you get it all in there. And remember folks, this is just soap and cayenne pepper. So eventually when you're taking your cabbages apart and cutting them up for canning or what have you, you're gonna wash them and this stuff will just all wash right off. But the tent will allow moisture in and keep the bug, most of the bug flying bugs out, which is the cabbage worm. If you don't want, see look at this one, this one's got a huge hole chewed through it already. You want this right down inside. And you're only going to have to do this probably three, four times in the season. Remember that one was folded up one, but it doesn't matter. Oh, you got the string in there, dear. The string, you don't want it growing into the cabbage. There you go. Just push it down with your foot on the edges, yeah. Pull the next one nice and taut. 
not just at the sides but lengthwise. Thank you, baby. Look at this. This is a leek I planted last year. And guess what? It's going to seed, so I'm going to let it go to seed and I'll harvest those. I wonder if there's any more in here. That's a one tough leek to grow through them weeds like that, eh? Well, oh, look at there's another one. Two leeks I planted last year and they're going to seed. So I'm going to let them go to seed and we will uh, harvest the seeds for next year. Yay! Organic leek seed. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying, just another day in the garden.